Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am Maat Pattaya and I specialize in exploring cutting edge AI tools and their real world applications. In today's video, we are taking a deep dive into OpenAI's O1 and O1 mini models. We will explore their features, use cases and hands-on code demo to show you how you can leverage this tool for your advanced reasoning tasks. So without any further delay, let's get started. So what is OpenAI's O1 and O1 Mini? OpenAI's O1 is a series of AI models designed to spend more time reasoning before generating responses, which makes it exceptional for tasks that require reasoning and precision. On the other hand, OpenAI O1 Mini is a cost-effective reasoning model, optimized specifically for STEM tasks, such as code and math, while maintaining an impressive performance benchmark. In this tutorial, I will show you what sets these models apart and demonstrate how you use them effectively in your application. Alright, let's break down the highlights. O1 models are designed to excel in tasks requiring deep reasoning and broad world knowledge. They are pre-trained on vast datasets. This ensures strong performance across a wide variety of domains and high safety standard. Enhanced alignment techniques make it robust against harmful bombs. On the other hand, OpenAI O1 Mini is optimized for STEM, specifically trained for tasks like mathematics, coding, and STEM reasoning. It is very cost efficient, up to 80% cheaper than O1 Preview, make it ideal for budget cautious projects. And it has comparable performance. It achieves nearly the same benchmark as O1 and reasoning heavy tasks. Here's how these models stack up in real-world applications. O1 Mini scored 70% on the mass competition, close to O1 74.4% while being significantly cheaper. On code forces, O1 Mini achieves 1550 ELO, just below O1's 1673 but higher than O1 Preview. For reasoning tasks, O1 Mini excels at STEM-related reasoning while being faster and more cost-effective for applications without broad world knowledge requirements. Now let's see these models in action. I will show you how to build a simple chatbot application using OpenAI's O1 Mini for reasoning tasks. Download the Jupyter Notebook in the description of this tutorial and follow along. First, we need to install and upgrade the OpenAI Python library. These commands will ensure you have the latest version, which is essential for compatibility with the API. Next, we import the necessary libraries. We are using .env library to securely manage our environment variables, and we load our OpenAI API key from an .env file. This method keeps your key secure. And then here how we define the chatbot function. This function uses the OpenAI client to send a prompt to the model and fetch the response. Let's break it down. The client.chat.completion.create method interacts with the O1 mini model. The messages parameter is a list of dictionaries representing the conversation history. Each dictionary includes a role like user and the content which is the message. Let's run the code cell now. Finally, let's test our chatbot with a sample prompt. Here we are asking it to solve a math problem. What is the integral of x to the power of 2? We call the chat with O1 mini function with the prompt. The function sends the prompt to the model and returns the response. Let's run the code cell now. And we get the response. The API provided a detailed solution for integrating x squared, breaking down the problem using the latex formatting. It demonstrated strong mathematical reasoning by applying the power rule, showing each step clearly and even verifying the answer through differentiation. 
The response was structured with clear sections, problem statement, solution process, final answer, and verification, making it highly educational and easy to follow. While O1 Mini is optimized for STEM tasks, it has one limitation, limited broad knowledge. It performs worse on non-STEM tasks like general trivia or historical fact. It's best suited for tasks that require logical reasoning rather than creative writing. Future updates might address these gaps, but for now, consider these factors when choosing between O1 and O1 Mini. And that's a wrap for our today's tutorial. OpenAI O1 and O1 Mini are game-changing tools for building intelligent applications. If you are working on a STEM-related project, O1 Mini offers incredible values. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more advanced AI tutorials. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.